Hey everybody, this is Karen Buford coming to you live from my studio. I hope this is going out on YouTube Live. If it's not, oh well, I tried. I'm trying to do the best I can with this. This is new technology for me. And uh, hold on just a second, let me close my door. I'll be right back. So I'm trying to get it all done and I'm really excited. So um, I have here um, the piece of art that you guys saw last time. It was the girl doing like this. And here she is. Oh, sorry, you can't see that. Here she is. And I'm going to show you how to do this. <coughs> I'm going to show you how I do this. Because this, and I'm trying to see if this is coming up or what's happening here on my, um, on my YouTube channel. I don't see it. Um, I got two things going on here, so I'm trying to see if this comes up or what's happening or, you know. Um, oh, I guess I have to save to my playlist something. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to show you how I do this. And um, this is a mixed media technique. Um, I already made my, um, my um, acrylic pour, which if I have time, I'll show you how to do that. I may or may not have time, but if I do, I'll show you how to do that. Because that's a really cool process too. So this may take a little bit of a while, but I'll show you how I do this. This was um, put on with Mod Podge. And that is, let's see, do I have Mod, Mod Podge? Oh, that's this little doohickey right here, Mod Podge. Oh, golly, it's backwards. Oh, man. Aw. Okay, anyway, Mod Podge. You know what it looks like. And um, I'm going to take some water and a sponge. This is a, um, a Mr. Clean eraser. But this is the dollar store version because, you know, who has money to pay for all that kind of stuff? So I'm going to just put this on here. And this has like a, I don't know if you guys can see it, this has like a really shiny coat on it. You know, it's really, really shiny. So... I'm going to put this water on here. And if any of my friends who have my phone number can text me and let me know if you're actually seeing this. If you're not seeing it, text me and let me know. Well, how would you do that? Hmm. Oh. Well, you know, text me anyway. If you're not seeing it, you'll know it and maybe you'll text me. If you are seeing it, and then, you know, you can't text me afterwards because it would be like too late. But at any rate, so this is a real cool process, and it does take a lot of uh, work as far as like on your fingers, which I should be wearing my gloves, but I found out that if I wear gloves, it's really hard to feel if the paper is still there, and um, so I just have to deal with, okay, my fingers are going to be kind of jacked up for a while, but so what, that's my everyday life anyways, so um, you can see that it's starting to, um, I don't know if you can see that, I can't. Uh, change my camera because I don't have one of those real cool doohickeys but if you see can you see yeah, right you can see like right there it's starting to like uh, absorb and get in the water the water starting to get underneath it so golly I wish I could change this angle oh the light is so harsh okay so anyway I'll be able to start ripping this off of here and then comes the really fun part the fun part of like um, rubbing the paper off and I love tearing stuff off of here so that part's kind of cool let's see if it's ready oh no not quite I still do some more water and then if I um, kind of rub it I like this eraser thing because it does kind of um, I don't know what it does I guess it, it does kind of get through some of these layers uh, mod, mod Podge. I just call it Mod Podge because it's easier to say than Mod Podge. Because that's kind of a tongue twister. But I can see that it's starting to make like a little spot. And I know this light is really harsh, but if I don't have it, I can't see what I'm doing. And so I'll tilt it away just a little bit. Yeah, that doesn't really help. And that means I really can't see what I'm doing. So uh, that makes it worse. Let's see. I don't know if that helps you guys either. 
I can still see because the sun is up. If this was nighttime, it'd be a whole different story. Mm, okay, let me see if I can get anything going on here in the corner. Because I don't want to rub it. Uh, there we go. I got something going. Here we go. All right, I'm going to start peeling. This is so much fun to peel. You know how little kids really like to peel glue off their hands? Same deal. So here I am peeling stuff. Oh, man, this light is just... Like killing me. Yeah, now you really can't see. Nope. Maybe if I bring it down. Nope, that didn't help either. That just wipes everything out. Oh my god. It looks terrible. I had it real light. I will not be able to do this professionally, make money, teach people, do nothing. Unless I get this, get a real light. I think I need one of those photographer lights to do this. Hey, it's my first time, so what can you say? I'm just trying it out, trying to see what I can do. Oh, wow, you can see, you can see that there's like something really cool going on there. Isn't that cool looking? Because she had a really cool um, headdress. So I'm going to keep pulling and tearing. And let's see. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's a big piece. Look at that. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice if sunburns and stuff like that came off like that? Wouldn't it be great if when you're remodeling your house and you're pulling off wallpaper, if it came off nicely like that? What a time saver. Yeah, it hardly ever happens like that. Oh, well. Such is life. Yeah, so... Anyway, this is a real cool idea. I saw this idea on uh, YouTube for doing stuff like this, and I thought, yeah, it can't really be that easy, and yeah, it's not. It's not. It takes, like, forever to try and get all this paper off and not lose your, oh, oh wow, that's going to look so cool, and not lose your, um, your image. So you have to be really careful when you're, um, after you get this, first layer off because there's like about three more layers on here and you have to really be careful when you're trying to um, get the rest of them off that's why I like this little eraser thing because it makes it a little bit easier to get these layers off of here and you don't have to um, worry about really you know if you don't scrub really hard like you're trying to scrub the bathtub or something and it makes it a lot easier to try and get these layers off. So, hopefully, and you know, I don't know, I may have to like bring my laptop in here in order for this to go out live the way it's supposed to. I get the feeling that you guys are not there. Like I'm talking to myself and nobody's there. Oh, anyway, I'll be able to post this anyhow, even if it's not live and you guys will be able to see it. But um, I'm still hoping for people to give me suggestions once they do see this on stuff that I can do with my um, with my queen sister because she looks like a queen. And this sister, she's just so calm. She's like meditating or you know saying her prayers. So this, she's probably gonna get like some scriptures or something like that because you know she just looks like she's in her deep meditation. And I really I did think about this. Um, some of these paintings that I did, I did these like in October or in September and um, I, I have to say there's some, there, there were a couple that I did right before the October 1 um, incident here in Las Vegas and um, I, I kind of stopped doing art um, after that because, you know, that was a pretty traumatic event in our community. And um, it's been till now, really, actually, since I actually started doing any more art. I haven't actually done any more paintings. I did this painting of the, of the little girl. Um, I did two more paintings after that. But I haven't done any more of the poor painting, poured paintings uh, since then. Um, I, I just didn't, couldn't, couldn't feel it anymore um, after that. It was, you know, because I did some that, that night that it happened. I had finished doing them that night, and I just couldn't feel anything else then. But I decided that I needed to do 
something on them to bring them more life. And you're going to see her face start to appear underneath this. So, um, I like to call it like um, paper lint. And it's going to start to like make these little paper lint things. Gosh, I wish I had one of those things that goes over the top. So you could really see what's going on here. Because it's still really washed out. So I'm going to turn this off a little. So you can see. You can see. Oh, that's so much better. You can see the little paper crumbs that are starting to appear on here. And then I will have to turn the light back on eventually because I really can't see that well. There's not really that much light in this room. And I'm in my house faces west. So right now the sun is that way. It's going that way. So you can't really I don't really have like sunlight. You know, I only have sunlight this time of year, or really any time of year, I only have sunlight for